Hey, it's Tony here at Smart Toyota, Madison, Wisconsin. This is that uh, 2022 Toyota Avalon Touring Edition gas version. Color on this one is uh, supersonic red. 2022 is the last year for the Avalon. It's uh, being discontinued and replaced uh, with the uh, Toyota Crown. So I wanna give you a quick overview on this one. This is a fantastic car. Really, I, I, for the life of me, I can't figure out why Toyota's discontinuing it, um, other than large car sales are down in the United States. So maybe that's the reason, but uh, this is a total package. So the Touring Edition uh, is more of a, uh, a lower profile sporty edition. Now they do make the XSE as well, but the Touring is maybe a little bit more sophisticated. So Touring does sit lower to the ground. We've got, uh, I think it's a 5.3 inch clearance uh, from the ground up. So it does have a lowered package on here and then the wheels and tires bring it down a little bit uh, lower to the ground. So that's a 19 inch cast aluminum wheel, black painted gloss with a satin finish. And you can see it's a low profile tire that they're using on there. That's a 40 series tire, 235 40 series tire. Four wheel disc brakes, anti-lock brakes, traction control are st is standard on here as well. I uh, wanted to show you the front ventilation system. So this vent here is actually functional. It actually goes all the way through the wheel. And uh, Avalon is the, uh, is the only uh, Toyota sedan that does that. And that allows air to flow over the wheels to keep the disc brakes cool as well. So really there for aerodynamics and functional cooling. The Touring Edition has this huge gloss black mesh grill up front. Looks pretty nice on there. Pretty much no bumper on the front of an Avalon. Behind the Toyota badge is the Dynamic Radar Cruise Control. Avalon has Safety Sense 2.5 Plus is standard. There's also uh, sensors up behind the windshield there as well. So you've got uh, lane tracing assist, pre-collision, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert all standard on here headlights a full complement of LED headlights uh, daytime running lights and uh, sequential uh, turn signals on the back there really love the look and profile of this unit it's a really uh, very long car with a long wheelbase so it does offer a smooth ride although the touring edition has a sport tuned suspension also a sport tuned exhaust system to make it sound a little bit more sporty, if you will. Gloss black outside mirrors, chrome trim up and over the window sills, LED turn signals with chrome in the mirrors as well. These are heated outside mirrors, they're also power. Notice they do fold in, so if you've got a tight parking space or garage, you're gonna be able to fold those in. Power sliding moonroof is standard on the uh, Touring Edition with the colored match shark fin antenna color to match outside door handles smart keyless entry system is standard notice again the trim chrome trim up and over the windows as we swing around to the back the touring edition does have a black package so you've got a black spoiler matches those uh, outside mirrors I showed you up front also Avalon in black as well here and then the touring badge is kind of a black and chrome combination but a really sharp tail on the back of this. I love the way they style these tail lights. These are all LED tail lights, but notice how they come around and then cut in on the back here. So a really interesting look for a uh, for an Avalon. I would argue yes, they hit the spot. It is an, a sports sedan. Rear window defrost standard. Third brake light right here in the upper deck. There is a backup camera down under here as well. Now this one does have the bird's eye uh, package as well, so there's some additional cameras. Uh, parking assist sensors, rear cross traffic alert, rear uh, emergency braking, and then this does have dual exhaust. This is a uh, 3.5 liter V6 on here, so this is the higher performance, 301 horsepower, and notice the lower, uh, the lower fascia here is all glass black and more of that mesh trim we saw up front on here. But overall, it's a really interesting look on this car. 
and a lot of room inside. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at the interior. Not going to go into a tremendous amount of detail in this video, but I just want to give you a quick overview. But the touring package does come with memory, uh, driver's seat, and mirrors. One touch up and down on all your windows, power mirrors. Um, we've got the JBL audio system. And then as far as the, the door panel, there's kind of a faux carbon fiber trim here, which heads into the dashboard here with brushed aluminum on the edge there. But also this is a suede fabric here. And then they use that same suede fabric on the seats. So kind of a, a suede insert with the leather seats here, ventilated seats, heated seats, uh, full power on your driver's seat, including power lumbar support height adjustable headrest, seat belts. I mentioned the uh, power sliding moonroof is standard on there. This does have a uh, power tilt and telescoping steering wheel on the Touring. Do get um, a leather steering wheel with fingertip controls for all of your sound system and your cruise control all right there on the steering wheel. Down on the dashboard, we've got automatic high beams, traction control on and off, heated steering wheel, trunk release, gastro release, and then the view 360 for the uh, panoramic bird's eye view. The Touring Edition does have aluminum brake pedal and accelerator uh, covers on there. Your hood release is gonna be right here. Notice the dashboard, they don't, they're not cheap on these. This is actually a soft tech fa fabric padded dashboard, so it's not all hard plastic on there. Let's go ahead and grab a seat and take a look at some of the inside. Behind the wheel on the Avalon, there is a lot of legroom, both in the front seat and the rear seat, and plenty of headroom, shoulder room. This is a full-size sedan in here, so space is not an issue. The steering wheel is leather wrapped, and we also have the heated uh, controls down here, so if you wanna heat it up, you can turn it on right there. Driver's side airbag, of course, and then all the fingertip controls that I mentioned earlier. Take a look at our gauge cluster. So this is a um, seven inch uh, information center here with a digital speedometer, outside temperature, and then you can also toggle through and do your driving support, your sound system, and your safety settings can all be set up there as well. And you've got that right there is your tire monitoring, pressure monitoring system. So there's a lot of functionality in that seven inch display up there. Tack and temperature over here speedometer and fuel gauge over on the right side. Really easy to read, kind of a black on white uh, backlit display. Uh, I've got this driver's seat all the way back. I wanted to show you the, the leg room. So based on my height, 5'7", I could not drive this car this way. I can't even reach the pedals. So I'm just gonna move this ahead a little bit so I can touch the pedals. Take a look at the center stack on the Avalon. So this is a touring edition, as I mentioned, and so this is the uh, better sound system. It's a nine inch touchscreen with navigation. Um, it is the JBL audio system, so it has 14 speakers and a subwoofer. You'll see there's some speakers up there in the A pillars, and then there's speakers on the lower doors and the subwoofer uh, and all that in the back as well. So a really great system. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Alexa compatible. Our heating and air conditioning system down here. Automatic temperature control for front driver and passenger. Heated seats up front, ventilated seats up front. That's your driver control and here's your passenger controls. These seats are super comfortable by the way. Um, they, with the lumbar support and the power recliner just a great seating configuration front window defrost rear window defrost heated outside mirrors push button start the center stack itself here i'll try to throw some light on down here so you can see the center console so it's an eight speed automatic transmission this is a leather wrap shifter and as i mentioned you do have paddle shifters so right here to be able to manually change the gears if you want with the eight speed transmission this area down here is kind of a hidden storage cubby and there's actually wireless charging. So if you have a smartphone that uses wireless charging, you can just drop it down in there and away you go. And then you can kind of hide it all the way if you want. There's a cup holder here, another cup holder here. This is slotted out, so you could actually drop your smartphone right there if you wanted to. You've got drive controls here for eco, normal, and sport. Parking brake hold and parking brake assist. 
and then as far as the uh, storage and such under the armrest it has a huge armrest it's really wide uh, it, it's stationary so you, you can't slide it back and forth but when you pop this thing open there's a uh, odds and ends tray here this comes out it's a nice deep well and then there's two three one one two three usb charging outlets and two of them are backlit i don't know if you could see that let me turn this light off so they're backlit kind of a pale blue so you can see them at night nice and easy and then let's move over and take a look at the passenger side similar seating arrangement with the uh with the suede in the middle and kind of that bronze stitching very very comfortable seats on the avalon passenger assist grip I mentioned it does have a power sliding moonroof with a, sh a shade and of course that tilts up and opens up as well visors on both sides with lights on both sides the, the uh, visors do slide back and forth the dashboard on the passenger side is is kind of interesting uh, it's a multi-tiered dashboard with that faux carbon fiber this is fabric and padded and then we've got a nice size glove box down under here the glove box does not have a key lock on it so it's not a secure uh, glove box but a lot of room over there bottle holders on that on that side as well and uh, very comfortable for the passengers uh, take a look up front uh, we do have the frameless mirror with uh, garage door openers here as, as well so you can set up for your uh, home link right there and then there's a number of switches overhead. These are switches relating to, there's a, a switch here for mood lighting. Uh, you can't really see it during the daytime, but on the dashboard, there's kind of a, uh, a blue LED light and it runs down into the door handles, runs under the center console here. And so you can hit that mood light and it will actually um, turn on and off that blue ambient lighting. Reading lights are here, also LED. Moonroof controls are here, and then you do have Safety Connect, and that's for roadside assistance. So if you need help, push that button. Toyota will get you uh, roadside assistance. It's part of the Toyota Care Package, includes roadside assistance and your maintenance for two years or 25,000 miles. Uh, I did wanna show you on the uh, 360 camera here, um, here's an overhead view of the vehicle and then we can check our surroundings as well So there's a, a number of different perspectives that you can set up on here depending on what is important to you and that's all uh, You can turn it off down here So if I turn that off it goes right back over to the kind of that normal mode if you will Oops wrong button. So back over to your map mode and I mentioned it is um, does have Sirius satellite radio as well. Really easy to see, read, the, the buttons and knobs are big enough. So good visibility out the front. Let's uh, take a look in the back seat. So here's a quick look out the front from the back seat. Visibility is pretty darn good. I do love the sunroof. It adds a lot of extra light inside here. In the back seat on the uh, center uh, console, we've got uh, vents up and down. This is also all gloss black trim, so it's not just your flat black. Nice touch. Heated seat controls are down here for the back passenger seats. These are not ventilated, they're only heated. And then there's two places to plug in your uh, gadgets down here as well. So a standard USB and a USB C. Uh, unlike the ones in the glove box, those are not backlit, but um, they're pretty easy to find. Pockets on the backs of both seats. Uh, I did want to show you the legroom back here. So I've got this driver's seat all the way back as far as it goes. And you can see easily six inches of knee room. So this really is a very comfortable car for five adults to go on a trip. If you want to take a quick trip down to Chicago for the day, plenty of room back here. People will be comfortable. There's uh, passenger assist grips and, and coat hooks up there tweeters in the doors here and then speakers in the bottom as part of the JBL audio system suede on the backs uh, on the door panels suede down here really really comfortable these are height adjustable headrest and then the center armrest does pop open and gives you two cup holders again with the gloss black trim and the silver so they just they, they didn't chintz on the back seat in terms of the, the style and the feel very comfortable and then this obviously you could fold this up 
to go ahead and put a third passenger back here if you want to. But uh, there's a lot of room back here. I could definitely uh, go on a long trip in the back seat of, a, of an Avalon, no problem. Let's go ahead and take a look in the trunk. Avalon has a really big trunk and uh, the low lift over height is nice for loading and unloading heavy items. I started with uh, showing you the spare tire assembly. So this is the tool kit and it's wrapped in this high density foam so it won't rattle around. And then you can pluck this whole thing out and there's your uh, spare tire. And there's plenty of room underneath here for jumper cables or emergency equipment. But having it wrapped in this foam prevents the rattling. And then there's kind of a small deal, but there's a little hook on here that allows you to hook that up and bring it up like so. The trunk, as I mentioned, is huge. There's a lot of room back here. You can see the back seats fold down. I brought down 60% there. You can also see there's your uh, subwoofer I mentioned before. And then there is a light here in the trunk. The release lever levers for the rear seats are in the trunk. Uh, I wish they were in the back seat, but they're actually in the trunk. It's a nice flat floor. It's plenty wide if you want to put some golf clubs in here. I think you could get three, four sets of clubs. It does come with a cargo net, which is here, and then that hooks up here and stretches across the back of the bumper. And just more attention to detail, notice that the deck lid is actually lined, and then there's an emergency release handle here, which is glow in the dark, so if somebody gets stuck in the trunk, hopefully they're gonna be able to get out okay. So really nice big trunk. This is definitely a full-size sedan. Stop. So a quick look under the hood on the Avalon. This is the uh, 3.5 liter V6. They offered in a hybrid and in a, and a, and a four cylinder, but this is your 3.5 liter, 301 horsepower, connected to an eight speed automatic transmission. Um, combined fuel economy is going to be 25 miles per gallon city highway, up to 34 on the highway. Uh, it is front wheel drive. The engine and the transmission have a five-year, 60,000-mile uh, powertrain warranty. It does have a, um, <coughs> excuse me, a sport-tuned exhaust system, so it sounds a little more throaty. Speaking of throaty, <coughs> the um, the uh, Toyota Kiron here covers your maintenance for two years, 25,000 miles, whichever comes first, and that includes tire rotations, um, fluid changes like oil changes and roadside assistance and then the Avalon also has a three or 36,000 mile uh, limited warranty which covers uh, everything else on the car in terms of manufactured defects so that's your uh, 2022 Toyota Avalon Touring Edition supersonic reds the color on this one that is an extra charge color by the way five and a quarter otherwise everything else you see on here is pretty much standard and this car is sold. Actually, no, scratch that, it, it's available. Uh, there was an order on it, but uh, it became available uh, late last night. So if you're interested, give us a call right away. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. This is Tony here at Smart Toyota. Thanks for watching.